Now for each of these, we're asked to match the equation of a line to its graph. And the way we do this is by identifying the slope and the y-intercept of each line. And so the y-intercept here, or b, is equal to 3 for the first graph. And we're going, for the slope, down 1 and over 1. So m is equal to negative 1 over 1, which is equal to negative 1. And remember that the equation of a line is y equals mx plus b. So the equation of this line is y equals negative x, or negative, this is understood to be negative 1x, plus 3. And so that means that this is d, which is y equals negative x plus 3. Now, moving on to the second graph, our y-intercept, or b here, is equal to negative 1. And our slope, if we find the points where the line crosses the corners in the grid, then we go up 3 and over 1. So m, remember, is rise over run. So our, our slope is rise over run. So that's 3 over 1, which is equal to 3. So if we're going to write our equation, y equals mx plus b, m is 3, so this is y equals 3x minus 1. And so that means that this graph is b. For the third graph, our y-intercept is 1, so b is equal to 1, and if we find the next point where it crosses in the grid, we go up 3 and over 1. So our m it, slope is rise over run. So this is 3 over 1 because we go up 3 and over 1. And remember that 3 over 1 is the same as 3. So I'm running out of room here. So that's 3. So our equation, it, y equals mx plus b, will be y equals 3 because that's our m x plus 1. So that means that that is a, y equals 3x plus 1. So this one is a. And here the line crosses at positive 3 on the y-axis. And so b then, our y-intercept is 3. And every time we go up 1, we go over 1, because this is the next point in the grid. So our m is equal to 1 over 1, which is 1. So when we write this as y equals mx plus b, sorry, 1, that's plus b, then that can be written as y equals, we could write 1x, but we usually leave the 1 out. So that's y equals x plus 3. So that then is c.